Hey, how's it going, everybody? Hope you're having a great day. Uh, we're back again with more Twitch streamer news. Jesus Christ, this channel is turning into a Twitch streamer drama news channel. <laughs> um, so for, for those of you who don't know, this is Nicole or whatever her name is. Nicole Lowell, whatever the fuck it is. Um, she's the OK Boomer girl. For those of you who don't remember, she danced around in a Bernie Sanders uh, low-cut tee and is now internet famous. Uh, she apparently has a uh, pretty interesting past, and it's just coming out recently that she was arrested not too long ago and faced some issues. We'll We'll dive into that right now. Uh, TikTok star and 100 Thieves member Nicole Sanchez has responded after information came to light that revealed the entertainment had been arrested on assault charges in 2018 and sentenced to anger management training. N Nicole has became a massive popular face in the online world, skyrocketing to fame after uploading her viral OK Boomer video in 2020. Now, Nico boasts a massive following on her Twitch channel where she streams in partnership with esports organization 100 Thieves, but it seems that some are trying to topple her new success by bringing up her past. Now, do I think that people should reach into people's pasts and uh, pull it out and use it as ways to cancel them or bring up things that they don't like about the person? No, because that would be unfair when I say they do that same shit to men and ruin careers over a tweet, something they said, or something that happened in their past. But... If we're going to live in the day and age where this is happening, you can't get mad when it happens to someone you like or someone you agree with. That's just not how it works. If you're going to do it to men and others, expect it to be done to people you like. Sorry, some ads started playing in the corner. See, that's the problem with all these websites. I don't care. Go away. You're screwing up my recording, you bitch. Um, but because it's happening to a girl, these journalists, these publications, whatever you want to call them, are getting mad. An article published in late July claimed that Nico had been arrested in May of 2018 by the Fresno Police Department for dealing corporal energy to a spouse or cohabitant. Fresno, huh? She seems like, like hearing this and then taking a look at her, she looks like a regular old Fresno, California girl who's fucking a little too hood for her liking. And, well, court records used in the article, which DeSerto were able to verify, show that Nico was 20, year old, 20 years old at the time of her arrest and claimed that her bail was set at 25000 That's not all. The piece also claimed she had been sentenced to a year in prison as well as anger management. Now, the, the year in prison thing, I don't know. I don't care. Um, the anger management thing, I don't care about. But that seems like a pretty light sentence. Um, it, it came out later that she stated it was not any prison sentence. She had to take 12 anger management classes as a result of the incident. But here's where the kicker comes. She stated that she had been in a abusive relationship at the time and it struck her abuser as a preemptive response to their own violence towards her. Now, maybe she was. Maybe the person was abusive. But wouldn't you toss the person out there and say, hey, here's the evidence of the abuse they brought upon me. I called the cops on them to, to discredit what these people are saying about you as if you were in self-defense acting out or... Maybe you were abusive, attacked him, and you don't have any of that evidence. We will not, well, we will never likely know because if never going to come out. The article is talking about an incident in which there was an argument where I hit the person who was abusive to me, she said of the matter. When I hit him, it was a reaction to what was happening in the moment and how I was feeling. I knew it was escalating to where he was going to hit me, and I generally angry and hating him for the way he treated me. I was hoping to put the relationship behind me, but I felt that I needed to address this, she continued. 
The article detailing Nico's arrest came just days after her signage to 100 Thieves, making a huge success for the star, who has show, slowly but surely climbed her way to social media fame. But if this was a man, how many of y'all would be like, he needs to be canceled. This can't happen. This is a double standard that constantly happens. If it was about a man hitting a woman, a, a big streamer, ninja, whoever, hit his wife, and it came out, people would be losing their minds. Now, a girl hitting a guy in self-defense, understandable. Same with a guy hitting a girl in self-defense, whatever. But if it wasn't in self-defense and she was the aggressor over whether he was verbal to her or not, there's a double standard here. She got 12 months of pro, well, she got probation essentially. You have to go to 12 acre management classes. Oh, that's so, so terrible. That's such a terrible charge. After actually being found <laughs> guilty of this situation, I don't know. Seems like a double standard to me, but you know, that could be my bias than the fact that, hey, they would fucking kick the guy in his balls and throw him into a dark cell for the rest of his life if they could for a similar situation. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll post a link to the uh, articles down below in case you want to take a look at those for yourself. And be sure to like, share, and comment down below. I appreciate you guys, and I will see you guys soon.